Okay, so if you struggle wearing lashes, look into these clusters, but I'm going to give you a full tutorial of how to use them the proper way. So yeah. <laughs> okay, I sometimes forget that I can actually talk and actually make content talking. So, uh, <laughs> I made the content for these the other day and I was just like, oh, I know what I'm doing with these because I've watched other people. Well, when I did it, uh, these are definitely something different. So I've been playing around with these almost every single day for the last like past week and I am addicted as you can see. <laughs> okay. But, uh, the only thing is I had started out, I think on, uh, where is it at? On number 12, I believe is what I started out. And I like put it out here and then I just went some weird method. So I'm going to show you what I've been doing that makes them look more natural and really pretty. And then you can make them more dramatic as you can tell like these right here. Oh no, that's what I started with. There, 16. I had started with two 16s on the outer. And for me, that's too much for my personal taste because you can see like it, it's very big and very long. But anyways, I want to do one that's like natural and then I want to do one that's more dramatic so that way you can tell like the full difference. But uh Okay, so my recent thing is I've been doing, I believe it's 11 on the outer portion. So I'm going to try to show them on camera and then um, I'll fill in the rest or whatever. So bear with me. Okay, and in this whole kit, they do give you the tweezers, the bond and seal, and then of course the lash clusters. So we just take the tweezers and then pull one off. Uh, Okay, I'm having a hard time trying to be able to show y'all and pull it off at the same time. Okay, anyways, then you just pull it off. And then for me, I make sure that I turn the tweezers upside down and then get the lash like this. And then open the glue, which is the bond side. And then I try to like find the little glue that's on the edge. And then I just do this and then like swipe it over a few times. Like this and then it does that sometimes so then you just have to grab it and then I'll put it on so give me a second to try to put it on okay so I had to grab a mirror so I can be able to see but anyways uh, you can pull your eyelashes up uh, I do that too without the mirror but if not it does take a minute if you're not doing it okay so I'll just try to show you what I do when I pull them up okay I'm looking in the other mirror so Okay, you can pull them up and then place them at the base of your thing. Oh, okay. This normally does not happen when they get stuck. I've been doing so good. Okay, that happens where they'll all stick together and then you have to redo it. But anyways, normally that does not happen. I have been practicing, but I guess because normally I don't do this, I look into this mirror. So hold on, let me adjust. Okay, and then you take your lashes and then for me, I just pull them up and then place them and then sometimes it does get stuck on the little end but anyways and then I'll just place them like that and then push them up and then so from there I'll take another 11 and then put it next like right here and then I'll blend it in so hold on you just really want to make sure it's pushed into the the line of your other eyelashes and then if you have that where it's the glue is sticking to your bottom lashes you can just pull out your bottom lashes like this and then and then continue to practice on just pushing that up with your natural line okay hold on okay so this is another 11 and then you'll just pull your lashes back try to place it right next to the other one and it does do that where sometimes it gets stuck uh to the thing and then you just readjust and then do it again but and then sometimes you'll have to use your or it does that ah Okay, I'm still practicing with clusters, uh, but the first video I made with them, they, like, did pretty good. Like, they did not give me issues. I don't know. I guess because I'm trying to rush it today. Okay, I'm going to show you a easy trick. So that way, if your lashes are sticking to this little, the tweezers, then just take a makeup wipe or something that has, like, cleaner on there. And then just do this again and then make sure that the, like, the little tweezers are cleaned and then pick up the lash and then try all over again. Ah, normally I'm good, but like today I'm trying to rush to show you for the video and then I'm like over here messing up. So here we go again. We're picking up the lash. We're going to flip the tweezers upside down so that way the band is not facing you. Okay. 
All right. Okay, there, and then you get to place it. Okay, so my husband came into the room and then I made it where I could not like really speak to y'all. But anyways, so then you have something like this. Uh, these are 11s all the way up until about here. Then I have two 10s. Um, this is me looking down. You can see that the lashes go whoop and then ah, I have to put the bond on because it does get sticky whenever you, I mean uh, the seal. Whenever you have just the bond on, it does get sticky. So, whenever we put the seal on, it stops sticking. So, okay, so. Ba -da -da -da. And anyways, this is how I've been doing it. And they look natural. Like, you can tell I have lashes if you're a person who wears lashes. You can definitely tell I have lashes on. But, like, frontal. Oh, my God, my little fuzzies are wear. I've been taking Biotin 10,000, and it's been growing so many new hairs. Anyways, but... So this is what the seal looks like, and then you just swap it on, swipe it on, and then the lashes stop sticking, but then it actually seals off. I'm still looking into a mirror, so, but anyways, then it seals off all that glue and everything where it stops sticking to the bottom of your eyelashes, so that's kind of helpful. But then you literally can have the lashes on all day and all night. And I have not worn, I wore them once to sleep and then uh, everything was fine, no like crinkles or anything. But it, other than that, I don't try to wear them to sleep because I'm like, because they were the first night, they were like, oh yeah, it lasts 72 hours. And I'm just like, let's, let's go for 24. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about the whole 72 hours. I don't think I do it. Doo -doo. The flash you did not need. And I might put a, a added wing later. So here's how they look. Home isn't just together. a place, it's a state of mind. By curling up in a comfy chair while you're doing this, you're going to be able to do this. Home isn't just a place, it's a state of mind. Make a better updated video of that because I'm like, those clusters are really, really good. And I think I only had like 50 views on that. I'm like, those should definitely get a lot more views because they're like really really good and I cannot wear normal eyelashes without cutting them up to make them cluster so the fact that they actually exist and they're different lengths like I'm like yes <laughs> anyways y'all have a great weekend and stay safe stay naughty and this is my new microphone but anyways <laughs> yeah check those uh clusters out though lusters check the clusters out and look at getting you a pair because they're actually really pretty and they last a long time and they don't hurt my eyes compared to like regular lashes and all that so in general you can check any clusters out but i would love if you check the ones that i have on because that's what the ones that I really am enjoying right now and I'm gonna have to buy me another pair because I keep using the 11 and the 10s so often that I'm like but there's my favorite because like at the 16 so big so if it just went up to like 11 maybe 12 then I'd be okay so I'm gonna have to look into clusters that only go up to like 11 or 12 because I don't use the rest of the clusters so anyways but if you're a person who likes all the dramaticness then you'll definitely use those clusters <laughs>